fact, over 6,000 turned up. Another remarkable crowd. Not quite the San Siro, but pretty good for football in the West Country. The first half performance hardly matched the atmosphere, though, and Yeovil had to wait until just before half-time to open the scoring against bottom club Chertsey. Howard Forrington smashing the ball home over the collapsing lurch-like Paul Holland. Now get set for a very rare moment. Two minutes after the break, Yeovil were given a penalty for handball. Cockerley and confidently up came keeper Tony Pennock in his 52nd appearance of the season. He was to score his first goal. Yeovil were now rampant, their third coming with a touch of luck. Paul Turner will tell you he brilliantly controlled the ball before nonchalantly prodding in his 11th of the season with his knee. But he'd be lying. Everything was going the champion's way now, and they were awarded a second penalty for a foul on Dean Birkby. The exceptional Forrington duly scored his 25th goal in just 23 games since joining from Oxford City. The 4-0 win meant Yeovil passed 100 points for the season with incredibly 31 wins and only three defeats in 42 games.